Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Tis I, the only archer of archer astrology. How are you? Happy Easter, by the way, too. Um, it is time to do your love energy check in for the beginning of April 2024. Sure, whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit, which I do love and appreciate, you can call me Ishmael if you like. Um, if you could return the love for me, please, and love the like down here. Share the channel and the video, help get us out there so the familiar can grow and we can just heal everybody. I would totally appreciate you for it. It's a genre and it's a thing we do. I love you for it too. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications over here. I do go live every Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. for a pick a card reading here and on Instagram. And Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. for the all signs. So feel free to join me along with the OG Mod Squad, the concierge for leaving me down in the chat, and we'll just have a good time then. Pages swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got them awesome healing music base covers with Bill over here. He's Gemini, so you might get it. You know, he's cool. I got more of those pick a card readings and just everything, all the weeklies, monthlies, lives, and otherwise neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your enjoyment. So you can just hang out with me. I appreciate you. And the big news story in Archer Land is the total eclipse meet and greet is on. I will be in Cleveland live for a meet and greet, a three day event from April 6th to April 8th. And um, April 6th is the musical evening because Bill wanted to come along. So we'll be at Breakthrough Sounds Recording Studios from 5 to 9 p.m. with an engineer on hand. So if you're a musically inclined Gemini or you just like to sing or whatnot, come on and hang out with us. Or if you just want to watch us, you know, do that too. Either way, even if we wind up recording a bunch of people laughing and tuning guitars, we're going to have a good evening. All right. So looking forward to it. And then the main event is on the 7th at 1 to 7 p.m. at 3 and 3 Shine in Weber'sville Heights, Ohio. No, Warrensville Heights, Ohio. I'm just making up words. It's a thing I do. I'll call Flunk and Wagnalls later. But anyways, yeah, Warrensville Heights, Ohio. That's where we're doing the astrology, the tarot, the pick of cards. There's like giveaways galore, including if you notice, there's a second Grand Theft Auto deck hanging out. There's two decks. That's because the original is being cleaned and it is being given away. So you got a chance to actually take home the Urban Tarot for two. All right. So I look forward to seeing you there. If you can make it, come on down. Then on April 8th, we will uh, stream the eclipse right to the channel. So we got it recorded forever and always. Appreciate you for being a part of all of it. And I look forward to seeing you, Gemini, totally, for sure. You guys know how to party. That's what I love about Gemini. All right. So we are going to do a nine card spread on the table with a 10th card outcome at the bottom using the Grand Theft Auto, the new Urban Tarot, which all the energy is over here now. So I love this deck, as you can see. And then throw a boatload of clarifiers at it with the new music tarot. All right. This one here, I couldn't find it anywhere, but then I found it right direct from the boss mans themselves. And I have it. It's mine. I love it. Okay. So all the messages we're going to receive will be for you and the one on your minds. Highest and greatest good, of course, only. We only fly the friendly skies here at Archer Airlines. Our planes are safe. <laughs> so... When you're with me, I am your ride or die for life. You are indubitably and definitely protected. I got your back. I'm the crystals, okay? All right, let's go for it. Let's see what's up for you and the one on your mind for week ahead-ish, so on, through the eclipse season. Mer Happy Mercury retrograde evening, by the way, right? Mercury is your dominant rock out there in the universe, so you might already even be feeling it, which, which is actually going to change things up for you a little bit like questioning the norm a little bit more and wanting to find something a little bit deeper. So let's see what's going on with that. All right, here we go. All right, for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Let's do it. All right, two shuffles. Ready? One and two. Let's love this deck for the pretty fly Geminis. You guys always look good. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups for your outcome. Scorpio energy. And walking away from like a previous investment or a previous mindset to find a connection that like defies traditional normal values. Yeah, totally. With the Five of Wands, Justice, and the Judgment card to the Two of Wands. Making that choice to reflect back with the Judgment card and find balance in your head and your heart chakra with the Justice card. Libra, Scorpio energy. I also pulled Mutable off of the Judgment card. Or, I mean, yeah, the Judgment card, which is you, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius. And to be able to overcome the standards and the norms of the way society has been, especially with the Pluto shifting into Aquarius energy, that is with the Five of Wands, Leo energy, the ability to, like, see the baseball teams here, 
that's the ability for everybody to work together the first base the second base the outfielders the pitcher and the catcher and to overcome those stripes and struggles that are so commonly referred to in tarot so that teamwork can make the dream work all right it's a whole new mindset that it, it's like you're ushering this one in all right and with the sun in aries and the moon in sagittarius that's a lot of fire in the skies. That's the ability, though, with Sagittarius hanging out to adjust the flame and keep the fire burning, okay? Let's go for it. What's your prison position? It's a page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio energy on this one, too. You are actually the one that's creating and manifesting all of this. You see how this is the filmmaker in here? That's that ability to, to, to produce your desires, to, to bring everything into light. It's kind of like, like when you reflect back on it and look at the astrology, okay, when you think about it, the sun isn't yellow, right? Now, before you stop me there and go, whoa, Archer, where are we going with this one? Follow me with this, okay? It's This is that ability to teach people, to lead. I mean, you're a natural born leader, Gemini. If the sun if the sun was yellow, then in the middle of a winter day, the snow would all be yellow, all right? And well, well, generally it's not yellow, you know, but anyways, I digress. The reason for that yellow coloring coming out is all of the pollution, the dust, the pollen, everything that's in the atmosphere, okay? And it creates the lighting and the effect that you see onto that one here. All that like pollution, pollen, and dust, it causes the blue light that the sun emits out to scatter and to wind up turning the sky blue. That's why we get our blue skies that come out onto this one here. And with that eclipse, it's bringing this new stuff into energies. The eclipse is when the sun and the moon get up there, jockey for energetical space. Sun's like, stop blocking my light. Moon's like, stop looking at my dark side. My eyes are up here. What you doing, sun? You know, and that's what this eclipse is because the moon, it's the shadow of the moon is coming in and blocking the sun. All right. You'll notice temperature changes. Things will slow. Things will stall. Things will reset. And it'll come through onto this one here. All right. Your present energy is the six of pentacles. Taurus energy coming together, meaning the minds. I just pulled Taurus energy or a Gemini Taurus Cusper or a Gemini front as a Taurus. Well, now that's something completely different. This is why, okay, yeah, I can see that. Like you're sitting here right now, literally going, okay, show me the math. How does that one work, Archer? Six of Pentacles. There is someone you want to have things work out with this one here. You don't, you're not one to let the vines grow up around your feet. Six of Pentacles, you keep things moving here and you found that little flicker of light that keeps the flame in your soul burning, okay? Like, and you don't want it to go out. Six of Pentacles, you're liking this, okay? It's it, it's like, it's why the sun looks so unbelievably beautiful at sunset, okay? When that orange, reddish glow starts emitting in the sky, it's because of that, the, all the stuff that's in the air that's closer to the horizon as the sun meets that point allows it to glow. And even to look at something from a whole different perspective on it, the sun isn't even stationary. Like what we learn in school, Go room, room, room. The sun, much, much like, much like the devil horn comet that's coming right into this era at about the same time as the eclipse and Mercury retrograde. Talk about a backlog, you know, like the runway waiting for all the airplanes to want to come in at the same time. The sun isn't stationary. The sun is actually moving like a comet. And we don't just, all the earth and the planets and all that, we don't just go around it. We're actually in a very unique elliptical orbit around it as we're just moving, catapulting through space. So it's that whole different perspective that keeps things in a, in, in a, in a form of perpetual motion at all times. And that's what I see you're doing on the, six of, on the page of cups to the six of pentacles. The six could be a date that resonates very strongly to you as well. But yeah, it's that ability to, like you've got this ability to crash through any wall that comes in front of your way and get stuff done. So your confidence is looking really good. You're, you're in a place of powerful manifestation right now. All right, what is the goal or destiny? What you here to do? The queen of, the queen, I almost said the queen of pucks. That might be a hockey reference. Anyhow, the Stanley Cup, it's go wings. I'm <laughs> whatever queen of pentacles you want to sit at the head of the ten of pentacles table this is your goal and your destiny in this lifetime to be queen elizabeth getting them sporks out getting things going on to manifest what you want and your confidence looks really good in your goal or destiny that's the queen of england that's the boss energy that comes out here that with the queen of pentacles that's 3d energy too so like when you open your mind or open your mouth things just happen okay Maybe, maybe you're getting into some self-publishing or self-writing your thoughts, your ideas to look at things from a whole new perspective. It's nice. All right. What is their present energy? What are they up to? Two of Pentacles. They found some balance on this one here to manifest two Ace of Pentacles to come together. Because check her out. She's hanging out on that kettleball. Maybe you're getting a little more like, like into what they're up to. If you're doing a little bit of snooping, which is okay. We all do it. Not going to lie. But whatever. Just look at the balance they've got going on right now. So maybe they're just really focused on their studies. 
or whatever you guys are doing or what's keeping them in your energetical tractor beam because that two of pentacles there she's really balanced on that kettlebell there and maintaining pretty good balance and composure here so maybe they're a little bit of a workaholic capricorn energy off of the two of pentacles and like try to listen to all sides of a situation to to work on the best outcome or they take a really long time to think of stuff right that silence that can sometimes be like oh so overwhelming what's their immediate influence maybe causing all the silence i say it here and it comes out here the magician the seer shows up the one that knows all look at beethoven sitting there working and composing a symphony and like basically classical music was like heavy metal back in the day i mean think about it there wasn't they didn't have like recording machines they didn't have tape players and ways to remember so it was really just like just just freestyle banging out on the piano and yet beethoven and bach and mozart and chopin wrote some of the best stuff that's, that's still known today as classical music but at the time it was something completely different with people like that beethoven man he's a little he's a little different right so maybe your person's got a little bit of that different artistic side to him that's allowing them to create and bring things together because they've got i mean they got everything around it because this this guy's this, this this beethoven even has a computer already that's ahead of the energetical curve you know all right so let's take your three cards add their two cards to it and get a potential influence on the future of your connection the nine of pentacles virgo energy man you guys look good together check that out having that time to kind of kind of it's the power couple vibes right off of this where the ace of pentacle that makes that 10 pentacles is the ideas and what you guys create together from this position it's beautiful energy on this one here being able to have time for yourselves time for each other and time to put things into place it's it's nice um you or them could be born on the 9th i'm also seeing the 29th the 26th also comes out or you or them are life path number two, nine or six. Also the first could be a first. All right. Well, that would be a first. Not really. There's been other ones. <laughs> a now. Easy with that joke. It's an antique. All right. Going forward, what's the incoming energy? Two of cups, cancer energy, and some divine placements that come into to, to alignment to allow things to line up. This is where the signs, the synchronicities line up, music starts speaking to you guys more, and you've got that ability to come together to work through things. And now we've got repeating twos showing up as well. Maybe you've noticed that, or you're looking at the clock every day at the 22s, you know, that sort of thing. Or you use military time, and you get like 22, 22 during the day or in the evening if you're a night owl. But that's that ability here to, whether it's whether your future is two cars or two, two cars, two garage, it's like different ways of looking at things to manifest your own. This is divine timing to go forward. Maybe it is that like that simple thing where you guys just meet up for like a coffee date and timing plays out and your destinies and your paths cross and that's where things go forward and it's that catalyst point that starts the ball rolling. Now, what's the environmental factors where we're going to? It's the nine of swords, your energy, and the silence that gets to you guys. Up all night, playing Caitlin Petty, staring at the ceiling, well, looking at the ceiling, for the mirrors, the pink champagne, even the sporks that I brought up in the Queen of Pentacles. But they elude you. But it's the ability to make the best out of those situations and be like, well, it's still a really good song. We should do something with this. You know what I mean? You may, This kind of ties over to the all signs that we just did too. You might want to go check out the collective reading in the all signs. Totally Gemini. This Nine of Swords ties to the collective reading over on the all signs. I would definitely recommend checking that out. And look, 29, 29. So the twos and the nines are speaking to this right now, which is also February and September. And September is when Pluto retrogrades back a little bit into Capricorn, hello, two of pentacles, and goes forward. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that really has a tapped into the tune into all their charts, or you do as well, and um, you guys are just leveling up through it. All right, what is the inner emotions where you'll be feeling? The Queen of Cups, more Cancer energy, and that card of forgiveness and caring and the ability to look deep into each other's souls from a more positive mindset the position of like the forgiveness to understand the deep connection you guys have and to work together to heal to go forward and not be closed off and standoffish it's it's a totally unique love for like all things about you okay cancerian energy could be dealing with the cancer or you are a gemini cancer cusper which is which is a whole different decan of gemini you know, depending on if you're on the Taurus side of Gemini or if you're on the Cancer side of Gemini, it can change like how you present yourself totally. All right. So you've got strong Cancer energy and Virgo is here as well. Capricorn and Taurus. All the Earth is here. Scorpio as well. More Virgo. And then you've also got Leo and Libra. Hi, Leo. Hi, Libra. What you guys up to? 
All right, but the judgment energy, actually, the way I read it as a reader, pulls the fixed energy, the ability to adapt to the energies of Pluto shifting into Aquarius as we go forward. All right, so it's like more looking into your 11th house with the Aquarius energy. That's the blanket that's underlying the whole thing. And Aquarius is like an all signs reading anyway, so they can receive that. So you're looking at things from all perspectives and all options in this one as you get deep into wanting to express yourself in a way like nobody else has before. All right, just being a real unique trailblazer in the energy. All right, so let's go for it. Give me everything you've got on Page of Cups. Six Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Let's do it. Seven of Cups to the Six of Pentacles on the Queen of Pentacles. Look at you. Magician to the Seven of Swords on the Nine of Swords. And did I not just mention Aquarius? Thank you. We're very grateful. I love when this happens. This is why I do tarot. You are a healer of sorts that I'm seeing here that you have an interest in this. This Nine of Swords is literally in your goal or destiny, and it's also down here. So you're bringing this into fruition and coming together with something that does the healing. Maybe you're maybe you're in nursing or in healing of some kind, or you practice Reiki, or you're looking into astrology and Reiki. That Seven of Swords, if you go against defined natural logic on it, it shows that Aquarius energy coming in to take those five swords out of the equation while leaving the other swords there upright so that both parties can speak. So you are interested in speaking to them and ending the silence to manifest something that you are thinking heavy about. Queen of Pentacles on repeat. A lot of repeating cards. That's showing a lot of energies lining up for you right now as we go forward, okay? The Queen of Pentacles in the music deck here showing up, that's Missy Elliott coming out, all right? That's a different set of music compared to what I'm used to listening to, but I do have a very eclectic taste in music. So this one here shows you really, you've got your finger point on this, and, and that Ten of Pentacles is so close, you can taste it, you can touch it, you can feel it with the, with the well, the Magician energy, which is you and Virgo, but it's Freddie Mercury wanting to break free and, and just, we, we will rock you. I literally just heard, we will. You remember, oh, I love doing that. You know what I mean? So you are actually manifesting this and you see something that's going to go very forward that's got your bank covered, okay? With the Six of Pentacles on the Six of Pentacles, Angel number six, six shows up and you could be born in the sixth. And also seeing the seventh comes out. Repeating sevens too, seven of swords to the seven of cups as you line up all of your chakras. Literally, like I was saying, um, you got that ability to crash through any wall that holds you back and and continue to look good while you're doing it. Queen of Pentacles, all right? Like this is the repeat reiterating the energies on this of Yower. Sure, I know I look good. You've got this ability like, like looking into something and being able to break it down with the magician energy to make it come together and work out with the seven of cups. That allows all the options and all the uh, everything else to just line up and equal out so that you can work through this. You could be born on the 23rd, possibly the 26th again, I'm seeing, or the 24th comes out. And also the 11th, the 5th, and the 12th on this one. The Queen of Pentacles is getting all that stuff in place where it's right there and you know what you want and you know where you want to go to achieve it. All right. And it's like allowing you to maintain your balance, maintain your stability, and keep your composure even on the worst of days. The Nine of Wands, that's another nine. You could be born on the ninth, or you're a life path number nine. Because if you've looked into that, maybe, in, like you could be, if you've done that element, you are a Batman symbol test with the Empress at the bottom of the deck, all that fixed energy that shows you in your power, in your place, putting everything into action. It's kind of like how I practice. You know how most people go right into law of attraction, law of assumption, and all that stuff? It's cool. I've, I've studied it, you know. But I actually, I personally, I practice the law of resonance, okay? That's like my core dominant programming. And think of it like Jeopardy, okay? Jeopardy, we're like, instead of just sitting here, I attract abundance. I'm attracting that person. I'm attracting this. I am this. I am this. The universe is humongous. God's big. And like, oh, yeah? Right? It's like, it's like Chuck Norris and Liam Neeson on the phone. Liam Neeson's like, I don't know who you are, but this is what I want to attract. And Chuck Norris on the other end is like, you're right. You don't know who this is, <laughs> you know? It's the law of a the law of resonance overrides all the others where it's like jeopardy, where it's like instead of sitting here going, I attract abundance, uh, my channel's great, uh, I'm an awesome entrepreneur. It's actually sitting here going, Why am I always so abundant? And the universe is like, Oh, I'll show you. You know, God's like, Oh, bring it on. And I'm like, Well, why am I so compassionate and caring? And the universe is like, Oh, you want some more love? Okay, we'll show you. It's that ability to almost challenge the normal way of thinking and look at it from something completely different. You know, why am I so, why am I such a successful entrepreneur? Why am I such a great, significant other? All this net, and then that just makes the love flow. Empress energy, okay? The universe, the universe doesn't give you what or who you want. It gives you what and who you are, and then allows you to make the most of it. 
Seven of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. Look at that. There's the divine couple, literally, right underneath the Empress. The Law of Abundance. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. So grateful. This is a fun reading. This is a fun reading with Beyonce showing up. Doing her sauce of fears and, and, and what was the one? Cowboy Carter, the new one. It's kind of cool. See, this is something totally new that nobody sees coming from you, Gemini. You are on the cutting edge. And did I not mention how your mind and, and your mouth, when th that, that just, you make things happen. That's, that's Biggie Smalls. The, the power to hypnotize, to attract, and to work with spirit to make it happen. Beautiful energy on this. If you're into like, like the sound healing, the binaural beats and, and ASMR and such, 1255 hertz is where we're going to on this. Especially with me noticing the 12th and the 5th. Okay, that's a kundalini awakening that allows you to rise to that new level and stay on your toes and maintain balance no matter what you're up against. Okay, it's 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 powerful energy. It's it's the fire hose of energy. All right, let's take a look at what's on their side because you are you're looking good. You are fit. You are in place. You are you are on charge. All right, now on their side of the fence, let's see what we got. The world's card. They got everything too. You're attracting someone that's completely on your level here. This is this is um, not expected on this. That's Stevie Wonder. We are the world coming in. Literally, it could be any sign. The world card's at point of completion. They look good because they've got this ability with the hermit to internally, maybe like I was saying, you're dealing with a little bit of a workaholic. Like they'll like like you'll talk to them, right? And they stay quiet. And you're like, what's going on? Or you guys haven't spoken in a while, or it's somebody new that you're manifesting in, and you're like, why are they so quiet? Why are they so quiet? And they go disappear. Page of Wands to the King of Cups, Nine of Cups on the High Priestess to the Ace of Cups. They go off and disappear, right? And then like a candle in the wind, Elton John, Pisces energy, the King of Cups here shows up with Miley Cyrus. There's the Sagittarius energy that when they wander off and have a good time, all of a sudden they magically just come up with the answers, right? Maybe the flames, the candles, maybe the lighting change or something like that resonates to you guys that you've noticed this. And they see it on the same side here. Maybe in the past, your King of Cups to the High Priestess. Literally, could be any sign. Only the High Priestess keeps the secrets in the Premium Veil, which is being lifted a bit as we come into that eclipse. That is a complete energetical reset. Like, well, like, like, have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? That sort of a thing comes out with the Nine of Cups. A lot of Pisces energy, a lot of love in here. And there are still four planets in Pisces, including Mars. So that's a lot of water and fire coming together to bring the world in for the best of both worlds. So you're dealing with somebody very powerful as well. And this high priestess hiding behind their nine of cups might even show that there's 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 a lot of deep hurt in there. They've been through a dark night of the soul that you could you could write a New York Times bestseller about on this one. All right. A lot of losses, a lot of, of passion, Taurus, Sagittarius energy shows up. And they still remain confident in the energies that come together for the two of you. It looks like when you have this high priestess here showing that it's kind of what's hiding is nine cups plus one cup, which is actually 10 cups that comes together. That love is all right in there here. And they're willing to, they can't forget you. If it's that you just met or you guys just started talking or you guys haven't spoken nine days, nine weeks, nine months, whatever. It's right there. That ace of cup does overfloweth for you. All right, so they've got some some very deep love in here for you that goes forward. Very nice. Strong Virgo energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is here, so that's a lot of water. Sagittarius. But when you've got the world card to the high priestess card, literally any sign, any sign will do. The, they embrace all the emotions and everything that they've got here. It's powerhouse of energies. No wonder you're attracted to them. I would be too. I'd be asking about them too. Be like, hey, Gemini, what's up? And you'd be like, Archer, don't, it's me. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. All right, let's see, going forward. Let's see what we got here. Give me something on this two of cups to the nine of swords on the queen of cups. Let's roll. The, the emperor. Gemini. We've got we've got Wayne and Garth showing up with judgment back again, too. Guess who's back? The 20th could be a date that resonates as well. Because look at this. Prince and Beyonce show up. The emperor to the empress. This is the couple that runs the universe across the board. And I'm hearing like purple rain comes out. Maybe that's a song you'll be hearing or it resonates to you along with Jolene. All right. The song that got rewrote, but yet Dolly Parton was like, all right, it's cool. Jolene better watch out on this one now. You know, it's adapting to the times in a complete powerful energy. You guys are on the same level and you get it because you both have been through a lot. A lot of the resets, the reboots, the, the all the reads in tarot, the fours that come out. To the five of swords on the eight of cups to an ace of swords there's the go point that you guys have done the work to heal through it. the five of swords 
I like this card. It's Aquarius Energy. And it's the ability to not focus so much on those things, but do not forget them either. All right, to take those three swords, set them aside so they can be clean, they can heal, but still each have your swords so that you guys can communicate. Ace of Swords, that Eight of Cups, it's a strong investment. Maybe you guys are investing or doing something together in the future that goes forward with this one. Neat. Three Pentacles to the Lovers to the Six of Cups on the Six of Wands with the Page of Swords. But check this out. The Six of Wands came out reversed. Caitlin Petty shows up, right? Getting that victory for the songs where it's like, yeah, you could do better on that song, but it's already awesome. You guys already know that the victory is there and there's no need to continue to look for more victory because you found each other, right? It's that point when you get done creating and manifesting like a song that you're like, you know what? Yeah, we could keep looking at it. We could keep working on it, but, or even art, if you're a writer or a painter where you could keep editing and rewriting, but it's like, no, we found each other. We're good. File this one away. Let's roll with it. And you guys keep going forward. Page of Swords to the Six of Wands reversed shows me that, that, that there's no further victory you need to look for. You've already wrote the top selling hit. You've already wrote that novel. And together, you guys have manifested some powerful energies with the lovers to the Six of Cups. A deep soulmate connection that you guys choose to love each other. John and Yoko. That they, they You guys just get each other. It's that connection that differs from complete and traditional norm, right? Six of Wands reversed to pull something powerful off of it. Exactly. That you guys have created and manifested your own future with the Three of Pentacles. Working with God, Spirit, measuring twice, God, cutting once, etc. and so forth. To put everything into the proper place, proper perspective, and going forward. Even with John Yoko here wearing the Archer Sharpie swimwear collection, which was probably available at the Apple Boutique. I mean, it's at White House Black Market and Dollar Tree everywhere. Also, also, yeah. But that's, that's that ability that you guys get to actually create the power cup of vibes as an emperor and empress that come together with that page of swords. Amy Winehouse, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? comes up and all the others that roll into it. Whether your version of your Six of Wands victory that you guys have manifested with the Six of Cups, repeating sixes too, showing up repeatedly, that it, 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 whether it's just the traditional white picket fence, two cars in the garage and that, or it's multiple properties that you have eight of cups invested in, and then multiple streams of income where you've got this ability to not have to work the nine to five, you know, that you guys can just create and, and work on something different than what the rest of the world goes through. And it creates this beautiful power couple where, where boom, Gemini, it's, it's that respect, that love that just is real love that hits the trifecta in a whole new way with the judgment card where they not only love you for your mind and your soul, but they also love your body too. And you guys get to blend the perfect power couple vibes for public private personas and uncast judgment. It's beautiful, amazing energy. Oh my goodness, Gemini. Wow. Claim this down in the comments because you are large and in charge on this one and you're meeting the one that's right on your level. And if it's somebody coming back, they coming back correct for you. Uh, yeah, claim it down in the comments. Leave a comment. Let me know how this resonates and, and who and what you're dealing with, how you're feeling and all that. I know it takes me a little bit of time to respond, but I do see, like, and love all your comments. And I do eventually get back to them. I promise. Sometimes I stay busy, but I always try to make time because I appreciate you for being here and being a part of this Gemini. Wow. Amazing. You've got strong cancer energy, fixed energy with the Empress, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries. What when you got the high priestess on the world card, that's literally like any sign and every sign showing up where you guys just connect across the board. Wow, amazing. Gemini, thank you again so much for being here and letting me read for you today, sharing your life, your love, and your energy with me. I do totally appreciate you for it, definitely. And God, Spirit, thank you so much for the messages today we received for Gemini. We are, as always, truly grateful and appreciate you, definitely. And remember, Gemini, this will resonate to any and all placements of Gemini within your chart, even if it's your sun, your moon, your Jupiter, your Pluto, your part of fortune. I don't care how far out and you go or whatever signs or whatever charts you're working with. It resonates for you. All right. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, I am FHA compliant. We'll read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. Ironclad. All you have to do is ask. And you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com if you'd like to. Um, otherwise... Until next time, Gemini, I'll see you in Cleveland, and I'll see you again later, all right? Love you very much. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. See you later. Love you.